Remember in a previous video when we were doing a first service on my C8 Corvette at Nahash Chevrolet, and the service tech Brian Shea was changing my DCT transmission filter, and we grabbed a sample to be analyzed? You remember that? Do you remember that? <laughs> So what I did was I took the sample and I put it in this container and screwed the top on. They give you this for free, free shipping. You ship this out to Blackstone and then after about 10 days, they ship you back the results. So now what we want to do is take a look at the results. So let's look. So instead of just going to the report, I figured I'd tell you what the report is saying and then if you see this first, then you'll understand the report, I think, a lot better. Averages, both the universal and unit averages are running averages and change with the number of samples that they analyze. And they're talking about elements uh, qualified in the oil as parts per million. Uh, this list shows the most common sources of elements. If we look down, we have wear metals, aluminum, where it comes from, chromium, iron, and so on and so forth, nickel manganese and titanium. The second page, carrying on from the first page, is oil additives, which are barren, bar boron, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, and barium, and physical properties. They talk about the viscosity flash point, where it should be, about antifreeze. Boy, you don't want that in with your uh, oil, for sure. And water, it, uh, percentage indicates the amount of water found on the oil. And you'll see in ours, we didn't, I don't think we found any, which is good. Uh, and insolubles, and some people might have, some people I would not be surprised they don't know what an insoluble is. They are solid materials that are present in the oil. They don't mix and go into solution. They are insoluble, okay? They are typical free carbon from the oxidation of the oil itself and accumulated metal in the system, oh boy. So, let's go to the actual results. In this final report from Blackstone Laboratories, uh, you will notice there are two grayed out columns and the one on the left hand side is uh, the numbers that came from the oil sample uh, the transmission oil sample that I sent out to them and over on the right hand side is a universal average which they take a you know DCT transmissions uh, and samples that they've done over the, they get us kind of like a universal average of what the numbers should be and so the gray column on the left hand side is what the actual numbers were from my sample and the gray numbers on the right hand side uh, will tell you what the uh, normal averages forecast and these 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 numbers will change like if you have your oil uh, your transmission oil uh, evaluated again or analyzed again they will match those up with these numbers so you can see over a period of time which way uh, the contaminants uh, might go in your oil so uh, take a look at this it's kind of interesting if you look at iron uh, my number was 20 and the actual Average is around 123, which is good because right now uh, our uh, iron, iron in the uh, transmission oil is very low. I thank you very much for that. And the same goes for uh, calcium and phosphorus, so that's good. And in the final comments that were put on uh, my analysis, have said that they often find excess metals from break-in in a first sample, but metals are quite low, which we noticed. Uh, this oil has only been in use for 2,750 miles so far, and that's probably part of the reason why. We'll likely see more metal on a longer run, and that's okay too. We do suggest changing the oil soon to clear out insolubles. They're on the high side at 0.3% and can sometimes leave an abrasive effect uh, when left to accumulate or circulate in the oil. A one-time high insoluble reading isn't usually a big deal, so we just 
give you a wait and see and keep an eye on it kind of thing, you know. So no moisture was detected in the fluid at all, so that's really good too. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give it a a uh, thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to leave some comments, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, we're probably one of the first ones to actually test the transmission oil. And I have a, I'll have leave uh, down below a, black, a link to Blackstone uh, Laboratories if you, if you want your to test your uh, transmission oil. You could also do your engine oil, too, if you want to. Well, that could be interesting, too. I haven't done that, but that could be interesting, too. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. And, uh, like I said, give it a like and leave, leave us a comment. I always love to read the comments. I read them all. So uh, we'll see you real soon on the next one.